Alex Cross has dealt with a lot of different kinds of criminals in his life, but none have been as difficult to understand as Gary Sanihi. Gary was first introduced to Alex when he kidnapped two affluent children in Washington, D.C., putting him on the radar for Alex Cross. And even after he was sent to jail for his crimes, he managed to escape and is now causing all of these different kinds of murders across the eastern sea border. The only problem is, Alex can't find him. And Alex has to be able to try to track him down before more innocent people are hurt. Along with this, a man named Thomas Pierce, a FBI behavioral specialist, is chasing down another serial killer. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith is an unknown character. People consider him an alien because the way he murders his victims is so alien-like. They don't understand how somebody human could be possibly doing this. Two stories, two killers, and both of their stories intertwine in James Patterson's fourth installment of the Alex Cross series, Cat and Mouse. Cat and Mouse is the fourth installment of the Alex Cross series. So I have read the first three of this series and let me just say this is probably my favorite series I have ever read. And I know I say that about a lot of different series, but this is my favorite mystery series out of every series of mystery that I have read. The reason is, is James Patterson has this incredible talent to write chapters that are so short and he's able to compact so much information and so much drama in every single chapter with as short as it is and it's incredible and it's so inspiring to get a writer like myself to want to write short pieces with that much content involved. For instance when he talks about Gary Sanihi and going into his past he puts so much depth into Gary and the craziness that is himself and all of the things that make him tick, all of the things that have led him to who he is today. It's astounding how James Patterson has made all of these characters and how deep he really goes with all of them. I will say there is a lot of language and sexual content involved in the story. It is an adult novel, so those of you who are under the age of 16 should probably not read this, maybe 15 at the youngest, but it is an adult novel, it's an adult series, and so there's a lot of graphic content, a lot of sexual content, a lot of language that could be very offensive to a lot of people, so just be aware of that if you did ever decide to pick up this series. Now I really could just go on and on and on about how great this series is, but I will just say this. James Patterson is probably one of the best authors of all time because the way he is able to write is so varied. He is able to write everything from middle school age books with the middle school series that he has, I can't remember the exact title of the series, to the Angel Experiment series that was set up for teenagers, which was the way I got into him and I absolutely fell in love with his writing style, and then novels like the Alex Cross series and the Women's Murder Club series as well, and several other short stories and other novels that are part of other series. He's so easy to have him write anything. It's so easy for him to write anything about anything and it's just incredible. He's such an amazing author and it's such a big inspiration for me. The biggest thing that I can take away from the Alex Cross series and this one in particular is just how well he is able to create such deep characters. His main character Alex, his other characters that take over the story, all the twists and turns that evolve in the story are just so bizarre and out there and you don't expect them at all. It makes the novel so enjoyable and keeps you reading the entire time. It was so difficult for me to stop reading this at any point. Like I set a limit of myself to 50 pages a day. And it was really hard for me to be able to stop at 50 pages because I wanted to keep reading and keep learning of what was going to happen next. And honestly, James Patterson has done that with every single book that I have read in this series. The other three, I did just the same. I wanted to keep reading and keep reading as much as I could. And this is no different. And I have a very good feeling that the rest of the series is just going to be the same. And I'm very, very excited for it. So that's all I really want to say about Cat and Mouse by James Patterson. Really an amazing novel, an amazing series. I really think that he is someone that everyone needs to read something by him. If you're younger, read his Middle School Sucks series, I think is what it is. If you're a teenager and you're looking to get into kind of like a dystopian kind of story, read the Angel Experiment series because it is so capturing and it is such a 
interesting series. It's unlike any other dystopia series I have ever read. And then if you are toward the young adult, adult side, and you're looking for something that's very kind of deep and dark and creepy, read the Alex Cross series. It is by far the best series I have ever, ever had the pleasure to read because it's just perfect. James is just an amazing author. I really recommend him to anyone because he's such a great novelist. He really gets to the nitty gritty of his books and it's oh it just makes my heart swoon so if you can't tell the next book I will be reading is going to be another James Patterson book and it's actually going to be the next book in the series and I currently don't have it with me because it's in my mom's bedroom and I don't want to go in there right now because she's sleeping but that is Roses Are Red by James Patterson now I don't know what this one's gonna be about because I haven't like I said, I haven't really seen it. I don't know what it's going to entail, but I'm so, so excited to continue with this series because this is the series that got me to start writing my own mystery novel that I have been working on for nearly the past two years. James's writing has really inspired me to try and write my own novel that's just as dark and just as creepy in a new way in a more modern kind of way because these books are actually kind of older and he's still continuing this series. I think he's got to be up to 20 books in this series alone and then Women's Murder Club I think is up to like 15. This is like the thing that is making me want to write a really really good novel. But thank you guys so much for joining me in this book review of Cat and Mouse by James Patterson. If you guys enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlet in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.